Okay, so I'm still trying to get this area straight. I am putting this one back up next to the Billie Holiday. I need to organize my stuffed animals. I need to put up lights here. I got some lights there. Uh, the laundry is mostly gone. I also bought some other lights. I'm also going to try to attempt to put up the chandelier for my wedding that I made for my wedding that no one ever put up. And yeah, I'm still working on putting things away and cleaning things up because I can't work in a messy environment. And Bathsheba wants to say something. Yes? What? What? Don't roll your eyes at me. Bathsheba. What? You want a cat treat? What did you do that you deserve a cat treat? You let me live? Hmm. She let me go. Uh, look at John's art. Isn't it cool? Hey, what up YouTube? How you doing? So, this is Chubby Curl, or if you're watching on my other channel, Lynn Songbird, Lynn 10. And I'm still doing Vedas. So, um, this Veda today, I basically wanted to do something more structured instead of just like candid to what's going on in my life. So, I wanted to talk about... I wanted to talk about these crochet, individual crochet braids. These are... They're cute and they're fun, but they come with a lot of responsibility. So... Let's get started by saying I got the idea to do individual crochet braids from Jazz Nicole and I'll link her video in the description box below. Um, she's amazing. She basically like once I first started watching her videos with the whole crochet lock thing, the individual crochet locks, my brain was like, Phew. like I was just, I was angry at myself for not thinking of that. I was just like, why didn't I think of that? It's like so simple. It's just right in our faces. And here we are corn rolling our hair for hours and, and fiddling with corn rolls and trying to get like crochet needles in between our corn rolls and ripping out our hair and junk like that. And then it's all itchy and like it doesn't look natural because it doesn't it look natural sometimes in the front and depends on how you corn roll it. But in the back, it's like doesn't when I was doing it, it didn't seem like there was any way to make it look natural. And when she did the individual method, I was like, oh my goodness, she's a genius. So shout out to her. Hey, girl. So I originally wasn't supposed to do crochet box braids. It's like I wanted to do box braids. That last time I had braids in my hair, it was supposed to be box braids, but I punked out of adding um, like a lot of hair. I bought a lot of packs of hair. I think I bought like six packs of hair and I only used three of them to do like tiny braids in my hair and I punked out about doing you know the giant ones. I always do that. I always chicken out. So I, I've always like wanted box braids but I wasn't like originally gonna do these and I did like a fishtail braid. I don't know if you could tell right here but um I wasn't originally supposed to do them. I was gonna do the faux, faux locks, like the individual faux locks, like she like is known for, Jazz Nicole is known for on her videos, but I had a lot of problems finding like natural looking, or not even natural looking, just faux locks, like crochet faux locks that look good. Like I've said it in my blog, if you follow my blog, Chubby Curl um, on WordPress, I've said it in my blog, I've said it on here, I've said it on my Facebook page. I live between four beauty supplies and I can't find the hair. Like natural listas will be promoting hair and saying, oh, this hair feels so great and it feels so natural and this is the name of it and I can never find it at any of these four beauty supplies and then I have to go buy it online and the last time I bought some hair online I'm not sure if this business did this but I bought something that said buy with your credit card instead of your debit card your bank card and then somebody started spending up a whole lot of money with my credit card number from the site that I bought it from like all over the country and so I was like, I don't want to buy anymore, like online. I want to just go to the beauty supply and get it. So I was originally supposed to get the faux locks. And basically what happened was I went to like 
three of the four beauty supplies and by that point I was tired and I was just like I'm at and I could have went to like a fifth beauty supply after going to the fourth one and but I just didn't feel like it so when I got to the fourth one I saw these and originally when I wanted to do any type of protective style with extensions I wanted them to be shorter I wanted them to be like 18 inches but they only had these in 24 inches and I'm gonna let it loose so you can see how long and unbearably difficult this is to deal with <laughs> so yeah so I couldn't find the locks that I wanted um not the brand I went out all the way out to like an hour away from my house and found them but I didn't have the money to buy them then and I was out there to get an oil change so <laughs> I wasn't like it's, it's basically where, where I found them at I don't go out there unless I have to get some work done on my car because it's the, where the dealer is at so if you know if I have to just go out there for just hair I'm not making that trip that's gas gas is high so I went to the fourth place I didn't feel like going to the fifth place I didn't see any like full locks that looked right they just didn't look right and so I saw these box braids and I was like awesome sauce I want to do box braids now and I should have just stuck with my original like idea what is that right here sorry <laughs> feather my coat has feathers in it and I always have feathers in my hair so um yeah so I should have stuck with my original idea and just went and probably just spent the gas to go to the place that's an hour away just to get the I think it was Bumba locks or something it was some brand of locks I had pinned on Pinterest that I really really liked and I found it all the way out there on a whim. Like I was getting my oil changed. And I was getting some like maintenance on my car. And I just walked over to this place. And every time I go to that place, they have everything I need. And it makes me mad because it's so far away from my house. Like so far away. So I wasn't about to go out there. I was at the fourth beauty supply. And I was like, skip it. I'll get these. I saw they had the 18 inches. But they only had them in black. And I had my heart set on brown because if you've follow, been following me for a while, you might not have. You know that I've been dyeing my hair ever since I went natural like 10 years ago. And so I've been dyeing my hair like a brownish color. And my hair isn't really black black. So my situation was that my ends, I haven't dyed my hair in a year. I took a hiatus from dyeing my hair. And my ends are all this color. So I have like this much hair that's this color and all the rest of my hair is black so I had to decide between black and brown and I should have mistaken number one I should have just went with black because as you can see it doesn't quite like I don't know if you can see that it doesn't quite look great and you can see like because they're individuals you can see my hair in there so it's not really like camouflaged in there it's not really camouflaged in there well like it would be if I had my hair completely black but that was my worry about going with the black because I thought you would be able to see my ends like weaving in and out once we got to the end part and it was brown I could have just dyed my hair completely black but I wanted to take a year off from dyeing my hair to see if my hair would get longer and more on that later not in this video so I went with brown and that was mistake number one. Mistake number two, I asked them if they had the black in uh, 18 inches. Um, I mean the brown in 18 inches and they said no and I said well will you be getting some in anytime soon? They're like we don't sell the brown in 18 inches. We only sell it in 24 and you know how they're always like curt with you and stuff like that. Like I'm giving you my money like seriously. So I was just like, okay, I just really wanted to do the style. I happen to have two days off from both of my jobs. And so I had to do it now. The time is now. So I felt rushed. And so I made an impulse decision. And I, phone's ringing. <laughs> and I bought this hair. Um, so thing number one about this hair is it's really heavy. Um, that was probably the other mistake I made. I didn't, like, I did my parting big, but I just have a lot of thick hair. 
So I f like I bought six packs. And I thought, you know, I'll probably have a pack left over. But no, I had to go and buy a seventh pack. Because my hair is so thick. And even though I was parting with large parts, like, these seem like pretty substantially large parts. They weren't still weren't big enough, I guess. And so, that was mistake number one. I didn't make big enough parts because, you know, I have a fear of making my hair look weird by having too big of a part in my hair when I'm braiding it. Um, I probably should have made bigger parts so I would have been able to use less hair because the hair is really, really, really heavy and it's really hard to just function daily with this hair. So I'm going to try to make this video quick. So it's really hard to function daily with this hair. Basically, what keeps happening with me with this hair, I really like it. It really flows really nicely, but it's heavy. It moves like real hair. That's what I mean by flows really nicely, but it's really heavy. Um, in order for me to shower, I have to flip my head upside down, put my hair in a ponytail, wrap it in a really giant bun, and you've probably seen that picture on my Facebook page, what my hair is doing today, or Chubby Curl presents what my hair is doing today. I have to put it in a giant bun, and then I have to put a shower cap on the bun part, but the shower cap does not cover the rest. And then I have to put a jewels bag or a shopping bag on the rest of my hair. And you know those seven cent Chicago bags you don't want to if you pay seven cents for a plastic bag you don't want to use it as a shower cap <laughs> so but I've been doing that um, and it's just like I don't know I feel like it cuts into my morning routine I feel like I have to get up extra early just to get it wrapped in the bun right because it'll fall down while I'm showering and stuff like that so I have to make sure the bun is completely wrapped right so it doesn't fall while I'm in the shower and I'm showering with a basically a grocery store bag on my head so that's like a problem um the other thing is um just it's winter here still in Chicago even though it's supposed to be spring it's cold still and it's still like we're having a lot of weather <laughs> I'm just gonna say that it's not fun weather so when I have to wear my big puffy coat, it's like a big hassle. Like, I put the coat on, then I have to lift my hair out from under the coat. And then I have to button up my coat. And so I have to put all my hair behind me to button up my coat. And then I zip up my coat and button up my coat. And then when I want to put a scarf on, I, every time I have like an infinity scarf, every time I wrap it around my head, my neck, I have to pull my hair out of it. And then in order to wear a hat, it's just not it's not working my hat is a really big hat but it's not really it's just not big enough for this hair and even when I like put it in a ponytail like this and put it out of the way you know it just still doesn't fit you know the hat doesn't fit so then if I have to decide between going outside without a hat and cold weather and catching a cold or I have to decide between trying to wear a hat and it's sitting on the top of my head looking like at a BC from you know but you know sure. <laughs> I don't want a little tiny hat sitting on my head it's not even a tiny hat it's a huge hat but it just looks like I have a bulbous giant head because of these braids and it's just sitting on top of my head like ding 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 I hate that so um and then I have this like muff thing that goes around ear muff thing that goes around my head and it's really hard to get that around my ears um in order to keep my ears warm so I have a hat that like stops here and then a muff thing is here and then a space right here and it drives me crazy and I feel like I look weird and I guess I shouldn't hear how people perceive me but I feel like it looks weird um it's hard to wash because it's heavy <laughs> so adding water makes it heavier but you know what you're gonna do you gotta wash your scalp anyway so let me think of other things the products I've been using with to maintain my hair is I've been trying to like break myself of being a product junkie so I've been trying to solely use Mael organics for the last six months I've only used them except for the last well, this last month for the last six months or five months we could say I've only used my L organics because they're a Chicago based you know hair company I've met the owner and you know 
I just want to support Chicago. So, um, I've been, you know, using their shampoo. I've used their leave-in conditioner on my hair on these. And sometimes it's really hard to, like, work in so that you won't have, like, white stuff, like, all in these. Um, I use it when I put them in, like, when I braided my hair up individually. I used it there. Um, I also use their, I think it's leave-in deep conditioner. Well, not leave-in. It's their deep conditioner. I've used that. I basically um, used a lot of Miel's products. Recently, though, I went to Rachel O's um, Natural Beauty Meetup, and I got a gift bag for paying for to go to the meetup. And it had a lot of curls, um, blueberry. I think it's called Blueberry Bliss products in there, and they had their edge control. And you, if you've seen me do my edge control video in the past, rating different edge controls, I tried curls, but I've not tried that type. And that one's working pretty good. I think my hair, you know, wasn't ready for it. No, my hair is used to it, so it doesn't always work. Like I, like when I first tried it, I had like little baby hairs, like the Instagram models, and it looked great. Um, I've also been using their leave-in conditioner because it feels really good, you know, on my hair. So I am guess I'm slipping back into my product junkie ways because I'm using like two different products at once. And, all, and then I started using another hair grease by Palmer's too. So, yeah. But I'm working on it. Um, pros about this hair, real quick. I'm going to give myself one minute to do pros about this hair. Um, installation was really quick. Um, it was, it could have been quicker. It was um, my fault because, again, I said I probably did the braids too, thi um, too thin. Um, I could have did them, sorry, I have a hangnail. I could have did them thicker. And that's why it took longer. Um, I remember I started installing them on the two days I had off from both of my jobs. And, um... Started installing them on two days I have off from both of my jobs, and my family has a has history of wanting me to do things last minute. Like they don't give me enough notice, so I like started I like braided all my hair in little individual braids, and then I started like installing the crochet braids in, and when I had like a like just this much of the front of my head done and a little bit of back, because my way of doing any braid hairstyle is I do front and the back. And if the middle is out and if I'm running late to go anywhere, I just put it in a ponytail and nobody knows what's going on in the middle. So it was like that. My mom called and was like, I need you to go to the grocery store and do this and do that and do this. And then I, well, I'm doing something. Well, I need you. And, you know, so I it took probably two days because I didn't make the braids big enough. One and two, because I stopped and went to do something for my mom. And it took a while. It took longer than it should have. So, but the pro is, like, if you're going on vacation or something like that, and you don't want to sit in a beauty shop and have somebody braid your hair for, like, two days or something like that, I would try this method, especially with the faux locks. I would definitely try this method. And I would try this method if you want the box braids. I would make, do, do exactly opposite what I did. I would make the parts bigger. And I would watch, you know, Jasmine Cole's video a second time. I watched it the first time. I was like, I got this. And I don't think I, I had it. And after watching the video again, I was like, oh, I think I missed something. But <laughs> the only thing I think I missed is, like, bringing the crochet needle through sideways. And then after bringing, you know, the loop around, you know, take bringing your hair through again really close to the root so it's undetectable. I missed that whole thing. I don't know how I missed that, but I was watching it again today, and I was like, I missed that whole thing. Oh, my goodness. So, I've been talking for a while. I don't want to make my videos too long. It's already 18 minutes long. I don't even feel like I've been talking for 18 minutes. But, yeah, if you want to go on vacation and just want to, like, watch her video and install this really quickly, like, if you have a day off before, day before you're going on vacation, I would suggest doing this, but with shorter hair so you can shower and so you can wear a beach hat <laughs> or something like that but you know other than that I like it I've had it in for like a month and a week and I want to kind of take it down but Easter's coming and I don't want to have to 
figure out something to do with my hair. So we'll see how that goes. So thank you for watching this Veda today and, you know, checking out my backdrop and everything like that. Sorry it's a little late. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and subscribe to both of my YouTube channels. Thank you. This is...